Good morning and welcome to our Wednesday morning service. We're going to spend this time this morning in prayer together, worshipping God, reading his word and listening to what he has to say into our lives today. So let's bow our heads as we come in worship. As we come together, let's pray. God touches the world and the world changes. God touches us and we are transformed. In this time together, we invite God to open our eyes to the transformation of our lives. So we worship God. Alleluia. Amen. We're going to sing a wonderful hymn together, And Can It Be? This is recorded at the Big Sing by the Northern Baptist Association. And can it be that I should gain an interest in the Saviour's love?
Matthew chapter 17, verse 20. He replied, because you have so little faith, truly I tell you, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. Ephesians chapter 3, verses 14 to 21. A prayer for the Ephesians. For this reason, I kneel before the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth derives its name. I pray that out of his glorious riches, he may strengthen you with power through his spirit in your inner being, so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. And I pray that you, being rooted and established in love, may have power, together with all the Lord's holy people, to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ, and to know that this love that surpasses knowledge that you may be filled to the measure of all the fullness of God. Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine, according to his power that is at work within us, to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations and forever and ever. Amen. In church, we often sing a song with the words that says, my God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing that he cannot do. I wonder just how big is God? Do you know, as we look at the Bible, we soon discover, don't we, that God is always doing amazing things uh, where the impossible seems to happen. With Abraham and Sarah, for example, she was barren and yet God through her kept his promise to Abraham that he would be the father of a great nation. Then there's the story of David, the shepherd boy. That small boy who, despite the rest of the Israelite army not wanting to take on Goliath, that giant from the Philistines, went out in battle against him with his sling and five smooth stones and with one stone defeated Goliath. Then there's the story of Gideon the commander of the Lord's army, who God said to him that he had too many soldiers and that he needed to ask them to drink from a, from a river and those that lacked from the water direct were sent home and those who cut their hands were kept. And with just a few hundred soldiers, God with Gideon defeated the enemy. Then we go back to Moses, don't we? Led the, God's people out of Egypt and God fed them, didn't he, in the wilderness. And then there's Jesus. So many miracles that he did. He raised Lazarus from the dead, didn't he? He healed the sick. Jesus did amazing things. And, and so it's clear throughout the Bible that God does amazing things. He saves his people. But I guess there's a question to ask. Is God powerful enough to be able to bring us through this pandemic? My answer to you is a resounding Yes. We do need to hear though in this that Jesus never promised that as his followers that it would be easy to follow him. He said actually the road is narrow and actually it is hard to be a disciple of Jesus. In fact, we look at the life of the disciples and I'm sure many in our church would agree. A life of faith is not an easy route to follow. Because faith is, by definition, isn't it, trusting God into the unknown. And so it is with faith that we trust God to bring us through this pandemic. We trust even though every bone in our body cries out saying, I want certainty. And yet we have certainty, don't we? We have certainty that God is always faithful and true. Many Christians will testify to this. We all know God's hand at help in our lives through times of trouble and difficulty. And, and today's theme has really come around because of a song that Bill sent to me. You'll know that during this time that we've called The Sanctuary, we've been using songs or readings or poems that different people have sent that have been important to them. Uh, and Bill, who records uh, quite a number of the songs that we've been using on our worship services, wrote this song with a title, Nothing's Impossible. 
It's a song that comes from Bill's heart because I know that both he and his wife have, in recent years, been through some real tough times. Nonetheless, just with their own health. And yet, through all of that, as you talk to them, they have known the constant presence and help of God. They've never turned their eyes away from God. They've always looked to him as their help and their strength. And they've known the blessing of God who does the impossible. Bringing them always into new chapters in their lives. And so as we come to a time of prayer, in a moment I want to play Bill's song to you. And I ask that the words of this song in my prayer are that they don't just become Bill's words, but as we hear them, that they become your words too. That we know that actually with God, the impossible is possible. In him, we can trust, we can place our certainty, our faith, and he will bring us through even the most difficult of circumstances and of times. This is Bill's song, Nothing's Impossible. Yeah. 
Let's pray together. So Lord Jesus, we thank you for the words of this song. We thank you for what they remind us, that with you all things are possible. And so we come to you in simple faith and we place ourselves into your hands. We place our families into your hands, our neighbours, our friends. We place our society, our community, our nation, our world. We ask you to hold it in your hands and through your love, bring about change and transformation, we pray. We pray for the vaccines that have been sought, that they will be easily distributed and effective. We pray again for our government, Lord, with the restrictions that are being changed in these next uh, coming days. We pray, Lord, for wisdom in how we as communities and individuals respond to them. For we pray that your hand will guide us and bring us through this pandemic. And we pray, Lord, that even as we begin to move towards Advent, that we will know your perfect presence with us, in us and through us. For we ask this in the name of Jesus, who taught us to pray, saying these words, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We're going to sing together as Hannah leads us in a song, All to Jesus I Surrender, because nothing is impossible. So we give our lives to our almighty God. Trust
Thank you for joining with us this morning. It's been really good to have you with me on this journey of worship together. You can get hold of us on the email address connect at cpbc.co.uk and maybe this is the first time you're watching this service and you're exploring what faith is about then please contact us. We'd love to talk with you a bit more about what it means to be a follower of Jesus Christ. You can use the same address if you want to email in today on the Wednesday uh, names for our memorial service which is on Sunday afternoon. It's going to be pre-recorded uh, but if you want the name of someone who you uh, have lost and love and want remembered in that service, please email that today on the Wednesday uh, at connect at cpbc.co.uk. That service will go live on our YouTube channel at three o'clock on Sunday afternoon. It's also on Sunday is the first Sunday in Advent and we will begin our new series called Simple Christmas. Details of that are available on our website of the titles uh, and when those services will go live. But as we close this time together now this morning, I invite you to say with me the words of the grace as they appear on the screen. We say together, May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen.